We're not off to a good start, if you can tell by what's pulled off right now. Look, it's an influencer. That's an influencer in his natural habitat. Influencers. Instagram influencers for days. <laughs> No. no, we can't do that. No, the I vlog's mean, legit. No. This ain't one of those like. No, this is real shit. This is real shit. Yeah, that's hot. Okay, don't Every touch time. that. Don't touch the thermostat. This isn't one of those like fake, fake YouTube vlogs where they're like, yeah, bro, we we sent it hard. We hit the 150 foot triple when it's like all Photoshop. No. We gotta start with the backstory though. Okay, let's start with the backstory. The, one of the seals on the dip. We got it back wasn't sealing, so there's yeah. a little drip in the shop. There was a little drip in the shop on the front diff, and we weren't that concerned about it, but our whole bottom skid is one piece, so we figured, okay, the diff's been sitting in the car for a couple days full of oil, maybe it just filled a little puddle on the skid plate, and maybe it drained out while we were driving, right? So that's kind of our initial thoughts. Um, and Jeff, I'm just trying to like get information from Jeff. He takes a picture, and it's like half a quart on the ground. And I'm like, oh no, this isn't good. Like, does this have anything to do with why our front diff pump's not on? So we decided to take it back. We dropped the skid and we find that the exhaust burned a hole. That basically the line that goes from the uh, pump up to the heat exchanger right there, that guy. Uh, so there's a hole in that line, of course, we didn't see it because there's didn't heat see shrink it around Because it. there's heat shrink. There's there's about three foot of heat shrink around this line. And the pickup line is actually in the same heat shrink that that line is running. Um, so we just, we did, there's really nothing we could have done to know that that was gonna happen. So, so the line finally, the heat, sheet, the heat shield finally filled up with dip fluid. Yeah. And then since when we, we turn the pump on it would pressurize that line and would piss fluid out and we yeah. saw that when we turned the ignition back when on. when we turned the ignition back on we were standing out there on boone we saw it pumping fluid out of the heat shrink so or not the heat shrink but the yeah i guess the heat, heat shield, shield. Yeah. yeah so we're uh out here enjoying the sunset we're about to lose daylight Show so we're gonna going try on. and get this this line fixed yeah we're gonna show you what's going on so what we're gonna do to fix this uh, temporarily we're gonna hard line this when we get back to the shop but See that line that's dripping? So there's a, a nice burn. Look at that. I don't know, even know if they can see it. But it's there. I'm, I promise you guys it's there. Um, yeah, just just my luck. We're I used guess. to it. We're by used now. to kind of so, stuff like this. So okay. the splice should work. Um, yeah, we're gonna go. splice it up and get back on the road.
left. Running. Jeff's just running. He's just the RPMs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not right. Jeep's running great. Got a little hot. A little Figured hot. it out though. It's hot out. I'm a little hot. It's <laughs> we're all hot. It's only about 98. Yeah. But it feels like 105. 107. Really? Yeah. Look at that gnarly GoPro just fucking yeah, look how broken this is. It's hot. We're going to put the gas in the gas tank and then go bam 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 bam. Testing day was not ideal, but I would say a success. Would you say success, Hoop? Fucking success. Hell yeah. It was a little different than I expected. I expected it to go a little smoother, but uh, it was good. We were having a couple more issues with the front diff leaking. Oh, shin, what is that? Oh, was that, that was when you guys were like halfway down the hill? Yeah. Yeah. So, We'll, we'll dub in some clips. You guys will probably see them like right now. But we are uh, we just went out the last run, did a little bit of filming. Um, we're, we're ripping it. So I'm excited. The car is faster than ever. We just picked up another 10 miles an hour in some of the uh, straightaway whoops that I like to, I have like a 20 mile loop that I pretty much run every single time we take the car out. Um, at least once and we just hit that same section i think the fastest i've ever hit that section before was like 95 maybe 96 or so um, and we just hit 102 down the section and then as soon as we hit the flats uh, on the lake bed we we're at 105 so the car is fast i'm extremely excited about the way everything's going right now uh, all the changes have been phenomenal. We got a couple little things to uh, work on with the diffs, but I, I'm blow, I, I'm continuously blown away of how well this car works. Um, I just took one of my buddies, uh, Hoover, one of our, our film guys, for a ride on during our filming, and he was like, dude, this thing is, like, this just ruined everything else I've ever ridden in. And I'm like, dude, like, yeah, that's, that's what I try to explain to people. It's just, it's different and it's faster than anything else any of us have ever ridden in. So, um, I'm excited. We had a good, we had a good day out running. It's had a rough start to the weekend, but uh, we had a good day. We got, I think we got like 50 miles in the car, a few rock trails, um, some desert time. Um, we got some content to be putting out, so I'm I'm excited. We we got we got what we needed to get while we were out here. We didn't put too many miles or beat on the car too much, so that's also a plus. Uh, but I'm excited. We're gonna go rip into this thing, uh, take it home tomorrow. We're gonna stay the night here. 
relax a little bit, hang out by the fire. Dave Cole invited us over to his property a little while ago, so we might head over there for some food. But uh, I'm excited. We're gonna get, get this thing back into the shop, tear it apart, get this front end fixed and we will be back out here shortly. So uh, thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.